In this movie we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features of DDM 2014. In this case we're going to be looking at a new function in the PDM integrator related to Save As. I'm going to open a part in to SolidWorks and the same feature applies to each of the supported CAD applications. So in this case I'm going to open this connecting rod part into SolidWorks. And what I want to do is to save a copy of this part back to the database. Now in previous versions of DDM, when I saved a copy back to DDM, it would break the link to the related drawing. So in DDM 2014, when we select Save As, we're prompted to copy any related drawing back to DDM at the same time. So it keeps the relationship with any related drawing, which is really useful. So when I save that, I'm prompted to give the part a new number. So we'll use auto numbering to assign a number. I'm just going to keep a copy of that because we'll use it on the drawing. So again, here we see the new properties window in DDM 2014 where we can see a preview of the part. Click on OK and the drawing will be pulled in and that allows us to save the drawing too. So I'm going to assign the correct number to the drawing and click on OK. And now the drawing and model are updated. And if we jump back to DDM, go to My Recent Items, here's the new model and drawing. And if we look at the properties of the drawing, we can see that it's related to the new copied part record. And this will work with assemblies as well. So if we have an assembly and the components in the assembly have related drawings, we can select components to copy within the assembly and it will pull the drawings out of DDM and update them and link them to the new copied items in DDM at the same time. So a really useful feature and something that will potentially save a lot of time working with DDM.